Hello everybody, Kixie here, and today I got a few updates to the monorail system. And so, well, here's my first update, is instead of using repeaters, which, uh, there's a few pros and cons with the repeaters. One is that it lags the system very badly, uh, because they cause light updates and a few other things, and it just lags up the system, and if you keep extending this rail, it will just turn out bad because it goes for so long and uh, so the repeaters are bad but then the pros about them is that you can make more of a decorative rail line as you can see I have like a box around it and you can't see any of the redstone components besides the uh, cart itself and so what I found out is if you look at this you could actually just completely get rid of all the uh, all the repeaters here and you'll just have redstone along a 15 block track and then it will go through this and make it extend so if you come over here you can see I have the same system just without the repeaters and what this allows you to do is it uh, makes it where it's not so decorative but it's a lot less uh, resource intensive on your computer and it just runs a little bit smoother so you see if I pull this lever I'm getting like zero lag whatsoever it's working very smoothly and it's just running perfectly fine uh, over here you can see I have a rail like a uh, station I have two stations one over here and then if you go to the other side I have another station and like I said basically no lag here the only issue with it is if you keep on extending it it will eventually have lag because uh, this system will always load up every single part of the system at a time so there's no way to section it off and that will eventually build up lag and it will uh, it just isn't able to be stacked without having any uh, issues so if we come over here we can see I have a new prototype that I have been working on this thing I have spent a little bit too much time on uh, just because the timing the timing is just ridiculously hard to get for this system because you have moving blocks and clocks at the same time so you have to match them up at the same time to be able to get the timing correct and it just it was very hard but I finally got it so basically how this powers itself is I have a minecart on a detector track. The detector track goes through this block and out the side to these repeaters. These repeaters then go down to this track right here which has redstone. So if the minecart track or if the minecart or if the monorail is within 15 blocks of this timer system it will power it. And when the timer system is powered, it powers this section of track, which is 15 blocks of redstone. So it powers a 15 block uh, piece of redstone track. And that keeps it loaded up at all times. And uh, so basically, once you have this powered up, uh, this will start moving along the track since it's powered. And then once it's in 15 blocks of the next section, it will power up that section. And it will go on so on and so forth so technically you can make this infinite and it will always uh, depower itself as long as it's uh, when it leaves the section it will unpower so if I power this up you can see it starts moving this section is powered uh, you can see this section now is powered and eventually once this third section gets powered this section right here will turn off and then eventually this one will turn off and right about now and you can see this section is the only one left on now and now uh, as you saw it was lagging my system a little bit because this uh, setup will have three sections loaded at max and so basically it could only have three sections loaded at a time as soon as it leaves or as soon as it loads the fourth section which I actually don't have on this but if I have a fourth section, it will actually stop loading the third section or the uh, first section. So it will only have three uh, of these sections loaded at a single time. And that cuts down on lag because uh, with my old system, uh, basically 
the longer you make it, the more lag it creates because each section you add is about 18 repeaters. This setup, each, each section you add is 30 repeaters, which is a lot, but the thing about that is it could only have three loaded at a time, so that's 90 repeaters. Uh, so 90 repeaters compared to infinite amount of repeaters is a lot easier on the system. And so uh, that's about it for the mechanics. If you see, I have the minecart with a half slab right here. Uh, why I do that is because if you stand right here, you could just move around as much as you want and this minecart will not dislodge at all because the half slab is in front of it so it can't get pushed around. And then also I have a block, a solid block up there so you can't walk through this. So the only way in and out is by uh, getting into the minecart and getting back out of the minecart. And uh, if you're wondering how I teleported out here so far away from the minecart, basically if all the locations around the minecart are taken up and then you will only get out on the block space that you could get out and so what was actually happening is I was teleporting into uh, these these repeaters right here so what I did is I put a few blocks here and that will fix the issue you can see if I get out oh uh, apparently it doesn't want to teleport me into there anymore uh, but you can see it teleports me into the docking station and uh, same thing happens on the other side you could get in and out and you just uh, easily get in from the station and out from the station and uh, I do want to point out everything on the redstone side is hidden so you could build the tunnel however you want uh, so you could put like glass windows you could put a trough uh, anything or any way you want to decorate it and these station systems right here are just kind of a temporary setup uh, basically you can see that one repeater right up oh, that one repeater right there is loaded uh, that's because that's where the minecart is stationary currently and not only is it powering the timers it is also going through the block to this one and up and around which makes it permanently stay on which will make it not pulse the uh, pistons and then what I do right here is I just have a button which extends this uh, cauldron and it will activate the comparator which will make this uh, block right here extend and it cuts off the signal and uh, why I have the uh, piston behind it is because you could uh, of course decorate it I like to make stuff more like aesthetically pleasing instead of seeing all the redstone uh, so that's why I like hiding all the redstone uh, so yeah as you can see I can make a nice little tunnel uh, you can make like a subway system out of this or something uh, so that's about it for my self-propelled uh, monorail system thanks for watching I'll see you all later